Everything you avoid gets stronger. If you're avoiding it, it means you're not facing it, not going anywhere near it or trying not to think about it. Whether it's day-to-day -day worry or situations in your life that, that come and go, things you've been afraid of since you were a kid, or that little voice in your head saying, you don't really need to get that task done today because you just don't feel like doing it. That voice is making it easy, making it super easy for you to avoid the thing that you need to face. You might think it's the best thing to do so you don't get stressed out, but all you're really doing is putting off the inevitable. You can't escape forever. Even if, even if you could, would you really want to? By avoiding things that are uncomfortable, you're running away from the opportunities that you might have at experiencing life in the fullest way possible. For most people, anxiety and worry are physical. It's, it's the, the tightness in the stomach, the, the, the dizziness, the, the mind racing, and, and having all kinds of thoughts that make you think you're going crazy. And if you think it's just you, then the truth is, you're not the only one. Anxiety comes in different shapes and different sizes from that light worry that, that, that doesn't really feel that bad, but it gets in the way, all the way to full on panic that catches you and causes you to freeze up and fight for your breath and, and, and make you feel like you're gonna die. A lot of people are convinced that all anxiety is bad, you know, it's, or, or the idea is that, that something bad is gonna happen. A lot of the time, worry and anxiety are doing something important in our lives to get you ready for something so that you can perform at your best or protect you from danger. When it gets to a certain point though, you say, hey, it's, it's just too much. And then you need to do something about it because it's just crippling. The hardest part about overcoming anxiety is facing it. Uh, most people see that when they, they finally take that step, they're like, wow, I can't believe I can do that now. I, I never thought I'd be able to do that. I help people do things that they've been afraid to do forever. And you know that, that fear has such an impact on their life that they need to see a change. And I do it by helping them experience the feeling and change the way they think about their fear and the way that they think about the situations that cause them to feel afraid. By helping them to see that feeling the discomfort that, you know, they can actually handle it. And the thing that they worry about the most is less likely to happen. And even if it does happen, they're prepared to deal with it in a better way than they ever thought possible. I had a person once um, that was afraid of small talk in social situations. You know, so she came in the office and I took her history and I told her about the treatment. And then she started to look worried. So I said, what's wrong? She said, you're gonna make me talk to people, aren't you? And then she started to tear up. And I said, no, I'm not gonna make you talk to people. I'm gonna help you change the way you think about talking to people so that it will be hard for you to believe you should be afraid of it to begin with. And in order to do that, you're gonna to have to talk to some people. Everything you avoid gets stronger. But the good news is that now there's a way to stop avoiding so that you can go on with your life without any regrets.